As part of activities to commemorate this year's Army Day celebration, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yaya, is in Oweri, the Imo State capital. His first port of call is the Government House, where he met with Governor Hope Uzodima. And afterwards, he joined some journalists and media executives for an interactive session. At this point, may I create the kind indulgence... Fielding questions from the panelists, including Channel's television's Mark Weogu Yusuf, the Army Chief gives insight to the situation surrounding the death of the soldiers recently killed by bandits in Shiroro local government area of Niger State. See what happened there. Sad attitude, but you will be, I was very proud of those troops, though they have paid the supreme price for what they did. You will need to know probably the quantum of the threat they, they saw there. Lieutenant General Yaya also highlights the efforts of the army in rescuing the remaining victims of the Abuja Kaduna train abduction, as well as successes recorded in the war against insurgency and terrorism in the Northeast. Almost all the areas that were hit at home under the terrorists, we have gotten them back. Not only that, the return of maybe displaced people to their ancestral places, and that is also being done. We're curious to know if the Nigerian Army, first of all, has a responsibility in that area, uh, if it's doing what it can to get the people back, especially considering the President's directive. Since the incident happened, and the Marching order by the president, we have been on it along with the two defense staff and other services on it. What I said is that one of the key is actionable information. We are working on it and uh, we, are, we are not being deterred, we are not resting on our hours, and by the grace of God, we get there. The Nigerian Army Day celebration is an annual event held on July the 6th in honor of members of the Nigerian Army especially those that took part in the World War I and II, as well as those that lost their lives during the Nigerian Civil War.